What is up guys and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while and I do apologize for that, but we are back with the bangers. We're going to be uploading this entire Deadman Mode week for the Deadman Mode Spring Finale. You guys know that every single Deadman Mode tournament, I don't go the boring route. I don't do the Slayer and stuff like that. I rush Desert Treasure and I get PKing because I want to provide the best PKing content for you guys possible. And it is no different this tournament. So we started off in Varrock, we went and got our 10k, we went and bought our Bone Crossbow and got our Star Staff, and we started training our mage right away to get that head start. Now obviously to PK and do DT you need a high magic level. So the first thing I did was get 45 magic with the starter staff. And this also allowed me to teleport to Camelot where I'd go do my next training of getting 60 range and 40 defense. Okay, and that's 40 def. Now we're just going to focus on getting 60 range which is one more level, 18k XP. Alright, I just got 60 range so it's time to start questing and start a first quest, the Taurus Trap. Right, there's that 20 smith and nice. The first quest we're going to be doing in preparation for Desert Treasure this DMM is the Tourist Trap. Now the reason is, the past two tournaments I've done this, and I'm, I don't know why I've never figured this out, I always get ragged at, temp, uh, at, at Tourist Trap. It's one of the easiest places to rag because you have to go through a long dialogue with a guard, and all anyone has to do is bolt you once and get you through the dialogue. And the reason people can't usually do it right away is because it requires 20 smithing, which doesn't sound that difficult, but early game that means you need like 36 bronze bars to get 20 smithing. That's actually very hard to do. So what I did to get around this was I got an alt and I actually went to the blast furnace and I bought ores there and uh, smelted them while I was training my 60 range. And that's what allowed me to do tourist trap before anyone else uh, even thought about going to rag there or before anyone else even did the quest apart from me and the friend I was doing it with. We decided to do Tourist Trap as our first pre-quest to get out the way as last tournament it was being camped by Pure Spam and a couple of those friends who were ragging for their team. So this time we didn't run into any trouble and we managed to get it done pretty early on as one of the first pre-quests. The next quest, which I usually do a little bit later as I find it quite tedious, I actually decided to do at the start because in this Deadman tournament, the Bounty Hunter Emblem Store actually sells stamina pots and I managed to get myself off an, uh, an emblem off one of my friends and I managed to buy myself some stamina pots. So dig site, which could be up to a two hour quest if you get really unlucky thieving stuff and not having the items right away, can be turned into a simple like 15 minute, 20 minute quest if you get lucky with everything. So I popped out the staminas and started dig site as my second quest, which was a lot more fun than when you're doing it with no run, having to walk back and forth a thousand times. And that's dig site completed. It took quite a while because I was getting a lot of, really unlucky with a lot of stuff, but luckily staminas made it a lot quicker. Okay, we just got 43 prayer. All right, that's 53 thieving done, one of the harder requirements for uh, desert treasure. Okay, and let's start uh, troll stronghold. Okay, I'll be going now because I almost killed dad. All right, Troll General killed. Let's get our key. Troll Stronghold completed, yes. Dude, I actually haven't hit anything. You're trolling. Dude, I'm- oh my god, I only have five arrows left. Fuck me, dude. How is this not enough? Oh my god. I legit have one arrow and he's like 12 HP, dude. This is so fucking AIDS. I don't know. I'm at the Fire Warrior. Dude! It's, it's red barred and I'm completely out of fucking arrows. Temple of Icob completed. Just waterfall on the pre uh, skills to do and then we can get onto DT. That's waterfall done, now we just need to get the uh, skill requirements for, uh, what's it called, for DT. Alright, and that's 50 fire making. 11 slayer 9. Okay, because me and my friend were so far ahead, we've literally just got 6 hour logged, and um, we're ready to start DT. We've got every single requirement in terms of skill and quest, but no one has actually got magic logs yet. No one has the wood cutting level for it yet, because we've done our pre-quest and stuff so quickly before everyone else. So I'm just going to start training a little bit. I've got myself an Addy skin. There's no rune skins in game. And I'm just going to start training my attack and uh, my strength for a little bit while we wait for the stuff to do DT wood. Okay, we're now officially 7 hours in. I've got 50 attack, 52 strength, and we've got our magic log so I can start DT 7 hours in. We would have been, honestly, we would have done it earlier, but there were no magic logs in game. Alright, and that, it, we got our Shido Diamond done, uh, so we can move on to the next one. Okay, and that should be the Smoke Diamond done. Two out of the four uh, diamonds are done now. This it's time to try and fight Desus, hopefully this goes well. Okay, and that should be Desus dead. Let's go collect our Blood Diamond now, just one more. Oh, I found a way to do it. It's barely hitting me. It's hitting me like a 1 every 2 ticks. 
Okay, well, that's Camille done. Let's go get the ice diamond. Got the last diamond. Okay, so we actually have all four diamonds. We're eight hours in, but there are people camping south of Alcarid, so we can't actually cash them in yet. It doesn't matter. We're going to go get our range up, so we're going to go chitting uh, right now and get our range up a little bit. So when we went chitting, our team didn't actually have any red dehyde or black dehyde available. So we went out with 60 range and blue dehyde and started chitting. Now, most of you think that's an enormous waste of money and should never be done. But you forget, it's dead man mode and it's time 15 XP. And people do it all the time, actually. It's pr pretty common to do. So we went out with full blue dehyde, no amulet, no ring or anything like that. Just our range pots and our eagle eye and a couple of chits. All right, we got 75 range from 390 Ren Chins from 60 range, not bad at all. We threw another 300 or so Chins, this time black, and went from 75 to 82 range, stronger than anyone in the game. Pretty much DT finished with 82 range done as well. All right, and I'm the first one on the game to complete Desert Treasure. My clan was locking down Temple of Icov for hours, so I know for a fact I'm the first one in the game to complete it. And I also have 82 range. Uh, my friend is gonna follow me shortly after, and that is Desert Treasure completed. Uh, we're about 10, uh, 10 hours in, 10 hours, 20 minutes, and we have Ancient Magic, so we have 82 range. We're gonna start getting our magic up now. Tier 5, please. We're chinning. We've used so many chins, and we've got, not got a single tier 5. Oh, I just got a tier 5! I swear in my life I just got a tier 5! I swear in my life. 85 range now. Alright, that's 70 mage, and we can start burst into blitz. Okay, we got our God Cape, which we're obviously gonna get Zamorak, and we got our Staff, which can out for 48k. I just got 82 Mage. 14 hours in, and we have DT done, we have Ice Splits, and we have 85 range already. We have double 68 as well, and 40 def. Right now, we're gonna work on 65 65 for Warriors Guild, and then work on our Defender, and then we might go PK today with Ice Splits and everything. If not, we'll be PKing tomorrow with some really high melee stats with Blitz and even higher range. This is some insane progress for day one. We're really ahead of everybody. Okay, and that is double 65, 65 strength, 65 attack. We can now make our way into the Warriors Guild and uh, go start this defender grind. This is actually the only time of the whole day one that I think I got attacked. I'm pretty sure it was by a guy from Fools called Zeruz who was PKing in the Warriors Guild and he wasn't even on Ancients. What he does is he gets really high range and he just sits at uh, Warriors Guild early game so that people don't really have high level food and he can pretty much stack them out pretty easy. Luckily I had Bruise, I had some Sharks on me and I actually get away. But he actually gets a lot of kills like this and manages to make quite a decent bit of money even without... Uh, even without ancients, it's a pretty smart way to PK. But once people come against you with ancients and proper tribrid, you can't really do much against it. And then by that time, you've fallen behind. But for early game, it's actually a pretty smart way to make some money if you're good at it. 60 def, so when we get a dragon defender, we can actually use it. All right, the big 70 strength. So for PvP weapons, you actually need 70 attacks. So I'm probably going to stay here. I have like 730 tokens. Uh, I hope I get to the dragon defender room because apparently these uh, defenders are only meant to be 1 in 25. But I started with a thousand, I'm only on steel, so I don't know. Either way, I'm probably gonna train uh, all the tokens I can and try and get some tier fives in the Dragon Defender room and try and get myself to 78 attack. So if I do get my hands on a PvP weapon, I can use it right away for PKing. No PKing in today's episode, I don't think. It's all about getting prepared. Usually in the other tournaments, I rush it so much that my stats aren't the best for PKing. Like last tourney, I think I was VLS PKing with 70 strength and I just want to cut it. So hopefully day two PKing, I'll, I already have such a higher range level than I usually have. We will be able to output so much more damage on day two and it should be so much more effective with all our new items and better stats. That's 70 attack, we're on an Addy Defender right now. We have 400 tokens left. Not as lucky as I had hoped. We're in 86 combat, we'll be getting 52 prayer later. Uh, I think we're just gonna get our attack to 78 and just keep leveling our strength. We don't have a PvP weapon yet, but we'll just keep our attack at 78 and level up for the past that. Get a Dragon Defender, hopefully make some money, and then tomorrow we'll be PK ready. Let's get these stats up and hopefully get this Defender. Alright, finally got a Rune Defender. We have like double 70s right now. Uh, 285 tokens to use in the Dragon Defender room. We're going to stay there for a while and train our melees there and hopefully get a tier 5 anyway. And uh, let's try and get this Dragon Defender. And that, my good friends, is a Dragon Defender. We have the Bodhi number as our strength level. We're going to stay here anyway for quite some time and just train up our melees. So when we PK tomorrow, we'll be strong. All right, and that is 78 strength. It's about two hours until the end of day one. So we're like 22 hours in and all the progress we've made. We've got DT done. We've got 82 mage for blitz, 85 range chinned. And these are our melee stats. We're going to go PKing tomorrow 
and our stats will be around triple 85s and melees. We're going to chin our range up to 90, and we will be getting 94 mage for barrage as well. So our PKing will be pretty insane. So you guys should make sure you guys stay tuned for that. There's been some PKing already that I've done like behind the scenes with my friends from my team, and I've even seen some PKers on other people's streams, like Spark Mac got killed by Lit recently by a barrager who I could easily take on uh, with my account build because it's so well-rounded. So PKing should be a lot of fun and should be very interested for you guys to watch. So if you guys have enjoyed this video and you guys are looking forward towards the future videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and make sure you don't miss the next video. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.